the Montville Baptist Church devotional for Thursday, July 9th, 2020, from Call to Glory. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. 1 Timothy 3.16 where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Matthew 18:20. Who can say that? Only God could say that. Most people do not look at this verse as one to prove the deity of Christ, but it is a powerful one. Jesus is telling us he is omnipresent in God. Mark 9:41 says, for whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Who can say that? No man can guarantee reward, or even know who earned it. Whosoever is just that. Down through the ages, Jesus promised anyone who does this, they will not lose the reward. Wow. Only God can do that. Why? Only one who is omniscient and all-knowing could do this. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, well, I will do it. John 14, 13, and 14. Who can say that? One would have to be omnipotent, all-powerful, to say this, and God is. Jesus was revealing himself as deity in these verses, and so many more. He was manifesting himself as God incarnate, 1 Timothy 3.16. If Jesus is who he said he was, then he is God manifest in flesh, and can preserve the integrity of his words too. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Luke 21.33 Who can say that? You know, by now, Jesus, the Son of the living God, creator of all that is, God, manifest in flesh. Let's worship and serve him, knowing that he can do what he promises. Why? He is God. Our Heavenly Father, may the fact that our Lord Jesus Christ is God give us comfort, guidance, and direction today, and know that every word he said is true and will come to pass just as he promised. Lord, watch over, guide us, and direct us this day. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.